Hey guys, I'm Tom Rohr, and I've been skating for over 20 years. Skateboarding has drastically changed my life. What better way to give back than to share everything I've learned? I'm here to give you all the details that you need to know to learn tricks as fast and efficiently as possible. And of course, make it fun in the process. Every trick has that one tip that you should never forget. Once you know what that is, it's in the bag. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is a really fun trick. And if you're fresh into skateboarding, such a cool trick to learn. One of the best feeling tricks, one of the coolest looking tricks, and it's actually not too hard. So let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with the foot position. So for this trick, since it's a little more unique, it doesn't require as much pop. You're gonna want your front foot a lot further up on the board, rather than how you would for like an ollie or any other trick like that. So you wanna put your front foot way up here. This back foot steps kind of in the center of the tail, not hanging off, not hanging off this way. This is what helps you kind of pop in and keep it level. So the reason your front foot is further up on your nose is because you need to have a wider step when you step out for the no comply. So notice, foot's way up. So when you go to do the no comply, you pop down on your tail pretty hard. And right as you're popping, your front foot steps off this way. See how it's further up, you get a wider step. But if it's further back, your step's gonna be closer to your back foot. Another important part for this trick is when you go to step off, it actually helps to lean really far to the left to where you can push your board out in front of you. Because if you're not all the way back to the left like that, if you're right next to your board when you step off, it's harder to push it out as far, it just stays kind of close to you. And then you won't get as good a pop, you might not even 180 the right way. So really important to really step back, push your board out in front of you. And before you pop, make sure you turn your shoulders as well. So when you go to step your feet off, turn your shoulders first and be sure to look in the direction you want to go and then step off. It's kind of all in the same motion. So you're bending down, going to pop, turn, step off. And the second you step off is the second you pop pretty much at the same time. Another reason you step out so far is so you can get away from your board when it comes all the way around. See, if my foot was further in, the board would have hit it. And remember, when you pop, front foot goes down, way to the left, board pops, the back foot scoops this way. That's what pushes it around. All right, lastly, that front foot, don't leave it on the ground too long. You actually want it to get back on your board before your board even lands on the ground again. So, kind of like that. Get it right back on that board. All right, now that I've shared all my tips with you for no complies, let's do some. Now that you got no comply 180s down, here are your key takeaways. Put your front foot further up on your board. Put as much weight on your back toe as you can. Lean to the left before you pop and push your board out in front of you. See you in the next tutorial. You.